Every time I do one of these, I get super excited, like more and more and more, because it's like a countdown. We only have three weeks left. That's it. Three weeks. Hi, you dolls. Welcome back. And if you were new, hello, my name is Jessie. And today we are going to react to season one, episode six of Heartstopper girls. Tara makes her relationship official on social media, but she isn't ready for the side effects. Friends try to play matchmaker with Elle and Tao. It's interesting because these are the last few episodes. I don't remember this one. I really don't remember this one. I'm sure as I watch it, I'm going to start to recall things, but I don't really remember what is going on in this episode. I know what happens in the next episode and I vaguely remember, like I know for a fact I remember the finale and the end, but I vaguely remember the beginning of that one too. It's been so long. So let's just jump in. But before we do, don't forget to throw a like. But it's like if you do, do not like what you see. But comment down below. Let me know why. Subscribe if you haven't yet. We do fun things here. Ring the link to be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. And just $5 a month. That's only $1.25 a week. It has all of my unedited reactions of everything that I do on YouTube. In addition to more, don't forget to follow us on all social media at star underscore chef underscore productions or at Jesse Dobby for Twitter. I think I'm going to stop saying the Twitter one. But ooh! you join us hi baby girl dobby joined us in the scooch over what's up girl but without further ado this is season one episode six of hard stopper girls are you excited mamma mia well, we've seen that four times this year already mamma mia you think something i'm gonna i've actually never seen pride ironically pirates of the caribbean we loved Kieran Knightley. But Mum. What? She's a very pretty girl. Oh, please stop talking. Was it Kieran Knightley? Nick, you cutie patoots. I was about 14 when I realised I was bisexual. I just love him. Oh, look, I match unintentionally. You don't look like a lesbian. You're looking at Timothy Chalamet's Instagram again. Willy Wonka. I can text my friends if I want to. Love Timothy. Not as Willy Wonka. Interesting indeed. I think I have a crush on Tao. Oh my god, I knew it. I literally knew it. Shut up. It's not like I can say anything to him. It's so funny because at this point, I feel like they both would know. Throw something at me again. Like your last remaining brain cell? Yes, Tao. Wow. Oh, that's such a cute picture. Absolutely idiotic these comments are. It's not gonna work. I always see coming. One day, one day I'll get you. Mind the door. A special room. Got locked in and had our first kiss. Mm. What's going on? Are you okay? Mm. Tara Darcy. Still one person that doesn't know we're a couple. <laughs> like literally the only person in a 50 mile radius. It's so cool and brave of you. <laughs> so brave, Darby. Oh, please, everybody, come on. She ditched us. What a same-sex schools are a pointless idea, generally. I'm saying that as an absolute lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Lesbians are so disgusting. What is their problem? Why do you have leftover cheese? Uh, always pays to be prepared with anti-homophobia cheese. <laughs> <laughs> How did you realise you were gay? I guess I've always been sort of aware of it, even when I was really young. I don't know what I am. I love how Nelly is just kids? always chilling with them. Did that help? Nellie's like, I like Charlie. We get to go to the park. We play in the snow. <laughs> sorry. Don't be sorry. The situation with Nick is so different for Charlie than it was with... Frick is that idiot's name? Whatever. <laughs> because he could see Nick is trying. Can I come? What? Why? Hmm. Because you're performing. You don't have to come. Charlie tried to teach me the drums once, and I am absolutely crap. <laughs> We're sort of going out. Are you? I mean, we haven't made it official or anything. Please don't tell anyone, though. No, of course. When we were 13, I thought we were going to be boyfriend and girlfriend forever. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> baby Tara, baby Nick. Out to your friends, then. Darcy! <laughs> Triumph at last. Come on, girls. Okay. Um, so cute. I'm not really out yet or anything. Do you want to be? But Harry. Tara didn't know she was a lesbian until we kissed like six times. It was two times. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel like you have to come out to anyone before you're ready. It is a lot to deal with. Do you think you're bi or... I mean, when we were 13, I 
I think I did like you. Kissing you was actually one of the things that made me realise I don't like kissing guys. <laughs> okay. Um, no fans. You're kind of the first people I've told about Charlie. Really? Does it feel good to have told someone? Yeah. It really does. Nick's coming round. Oh. I didn't realise you were in a committed relationship. What? <laughs> Chop. Wow, so not ready to tie the knot yet then. <laughs> Shut up. She's she's one of my favourites. Ella's my favourite. She is like a very close second, even though she's barely in it. I told her we're going out. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> you didn't just force yourself because I'm out already. No, I wanted to tell you. He's them. comfortable around Tara. <laughs> Tara and Darcy want us to go and get milkshakes with them before it starts. I've never been on a date. Me neither. <laughs> Wanna go on one? Wanna go on yeah. one? Look at the chaos in Darcy's room. <laughs> like everybody else is just like... It's a little too milky for a milkshake nice for me. Friend, <laughs> oh, no, he came for the milk a little more ice cream than that. Only. I was friends with Charlie first, and then Tal came along as a package deal. <laughs> <laughs> Cute little pair. We can share. We are on a date. We should go on a date, just us. I mean, if you want to. I'd like that. You should be really good friends with the person you're dating. Well, It'd be subtle, Darius. That makes sense. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm trying to set something up. Just because you two came out doesn't mean I also want to share all my secrets. I've had to deal with enough changes in my life lately. I don't want anything else to change. Sharing stuff like that changes everything. Not always for the better. Oh, oh now it's you getting weird back. between Tao and you Charlie. Sure? Do you know this too? The me and Tao thing. Um, what thing? Yeah. Charlie so can't lie. A <laughs> triple date. A triple date? You two are together? Yeah. <gasps> Charlie! <laughs> I'm so Aww, happy and Nick you. said it! I mean, do you tell him Aww. Isaac now? Isaac was and pretty good with that. What about Tal? Not yet. I'm gonna tell him, I just need to find the right time. <laughs> Bell's jacket. I really love you. Oh, I love you too. They're so cute! Totally think that they would totally see on both sides. Like, how could Tao not see that she likes him? <laughs> I thought you were trying not to be rude. No. Oh, I just... I like being with you. If people guess we were together, if they start saying stuff about you, then... I've been researching about being bisexual. I want some peace and quiet. The door! Mind the door, Darcy. That's a pretty stupid door, though, let's be honest. You guys didn't fix the Listen door, enough. school? Come on. Regret it? No, I just... So many people would suddenly think I'm a completely different person. You came out years ago. I'm not loud and confident about being a lesbian. I could barely say the word lesbian. People giving me funny looks in the corridors, and I wasn't prepared for any of it, and I don't, I don't know how to behave anymore. And I just want to live my life. Oh, Tara. Yeah. That's the problem with social media is like every or people even just I like how with them it's little musical notes and like the lightning bolts. Gay enough to me. <laughs> shut up. People need to learn easy. to shut their mouths yeah. and mind their own business and not care yeah. so much about other people's lives. Hey. You're supposed to be on stage like right now. What a group of friends, man. Ah! Yeah. Running hands in hands. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be okay. You? Yeah. Look at it smile! Oh. That went too fast. Also, why is there so many credits, huh? 
And we need longer episodes this season. There's so many good pause moments. All right, there you have it. Episode six, girls. Very interesting episode. So we have Tara and Darcy officially coming out together on Instagram in via Tara's Insta because as we know Darcy came out and but and Tara hadn't and they and no one knew that they were a couple there were all these rumors going around right so now it's confirmed and Tara is dealing with the aftermath of this decision which is absolutely ridiculous because when you come out as a couple with somebody you expect everything to be happy and exciting and you know like I'm dating this person now and it's so great and we're so happy and I always like I come from the generation of Facebook in a relationship on Facebook and everybody likes it you couldn't heart it at the time or people would comment and be like oh congratulations congratulations this is so cool and your friends friends like it and you know the your partner's friends like your status and it's all like oh it's like this this ridiculous social media high that you're on right but nowadays it's a lot more easy for other people to access your social media accounts, especially with platforms like Instagram. So you have your friends, you have your friends' friends, you have your partner's friends, and you have the entire freaking world that can access this through whatever hashtag you put it next to. So she has all these people saying like, oh, you're too attractive to be a lesbian. What a waste. All these ignorant, moronic hurtful, hateful comments, and it's frustrating. This is a time where you're supposed to be happy and embracing the fact that you're a couple and you have all these hurtful people. So everything's starting to change, and Tara's seeing this. We're getting comments from other girls during band practice. People are looking at her differently, and Darcy just lets it all roll off her shoulders. But the reason is because Darcy has kind of been through this already. As she said, you came out a while ago. I hadn't, and I haven't had to deal with any of this or experience any of this. I just, I love the cheese, the, the old cheese comment. I have old cheese. Well, it's always good to have anti-homophobic cheese on you. Like, it, it's good that she has Darcy as a partner to go through this because she can go to her and talk to her and confide in her these issues and insecurities that she has about the situation. I love how Darcy says, do you regret it? And she says, no. It's just hard. It's really, really fucking hard. And it sucks that we have... This world that we live in, I feel like we live in a world now where everybody thinks that they're entitled to other people's information and, and entitled to have opinions on the way other people live their lives. You're entitled to your opinion. But sometimes you should keep it to yourself. It, just because you have an opinion doesn't mean you should throw it in the other person's face. And so I, I, I hate that she feels so ashamed I want to say not ashamed but I hate that she feels so scared and worried and unsure of whether this was the correct decision or not but by the end of it they they get locked in their makeout room and they hug and they talk and they work through it and Tara's a strong a strong girl she's a tough girl she'll be able to to deflect the uh the frustration and the hate I feel so I have high hopes for our couple here we have this situation with Tao and Elle, which I keep saying the reaction is so crazy because if you watch, like, okay, so first time watching this, once I realized that they had crushes on each other, I'm like, oh my god, that's so cute. Rewatching this, I'm like, oh my god, it's so freaking obvious. Like, how did I not see this? And now rewatching it up to this point, episode six, where they still haven't told each other, is just almost like ridiculous at this point. It's almost comical because you can totally tell, like, they're acting like a couple. They're holding hands, they're saying, I love you. He's got his arm around her, but they're best friends. They're bestest of friends. Like, there are many friends that I have there. I say I love you, or I'll put my head on their shoulder, or whatever. You know, it's, you have that close bond, that close connection with that person, 
And you just have love for that person. But the way that they look at each other and the way that they act, like, it's just, it's different than anybody else in the friend dynamic, right? It's different than how Tao and Elle act with Isaac. It's different than how Tao and Elle act with Charlie. And so it's just so obvious, but it's so cute watching it unravel and, and having them figure it out. I think it's really interesting that Elle got so angry and frustrated with the group for doing the whole triple date thing. Um, when Darcy kept asking questions, Darcy can, can push and push and push. And, uh, and, and it's funny and it's fun to watch, but I guess experiencing it would be a little uncomfortable when you're the center of the pushing. And so she kind of gets upset. She's like, guys, leave me alone. Like I, I had so much change already in my life right now. And things I've been lucky enough to have things go well, you know, things are going good. I'm happy. I don't want more change now. However, she doesn't realize that this change would be good and that he feels exactly the same way. Like, it's one of those situations where I, like I just explained, like we could all see it. She can't see it though. And so it's, it's sweet how when Nick and Charlie come back to the table, Nick kind of comforts her and eases her, her uncomfortable insecurities with, well, this is a triple date. It's not a double date or, or a, a, a setup date. This is a triple date. And they tell her that they're seeing each other. Now, Nick is still struggling with the fact that they are a couple. We have them in public at the park and they go to kiss and two people walk by that he doesn't even know. Complete strangers. But it's in a public place and he pulls back. We have them both in Charlie's bedroom and they kiss. And it's totally fine because they're in their own bubble, in their own element. Uh, but we do have baby steps. We have him, again, telling the group that they're dating. We have him going to Charlie's uh, band band concert. Granted, that is at a, the other school. But still, there are people there that know each other that from the other school. So it, he is making baby steps. He does also agree to go on a date. And, uh, and I think that's great. I think that's wonderful. Ben, is that the other stupid head's name? This situation is very different from that because Nick is actively trying and you can see that he's uncomfortable. With him, with, the, with Ben, he was purposely trying to hide Charlie and had no intentions of, of coming out or trying. And was also cheating, well, I guess you could say, like, technically cheating, and had a girlfriend. So it's a different situation, but Tao doesn't see it like that. And now when we have situations where everybody in the friend group knows that they're dating but Tao, he goes up to Charlie and Nick when they're waiting for the milkshakes, and it's like, oh, oh. Charlie gets all weird. It's uncomfortable it's like it's quiet and then he's waiting for the milkshake he looks back everybody's laughing at the picnic table I felt so sad for him it broke my heart because Charlie and him are such good friends like that core four group of Isaac Charlie Tao and L they're the bestest of friends and the one thing that Tao didn't want was for not only Nick to hurt Charlie but to lose his friend and after already feeling like he lost L to the other school school and now that's like exactly what's happening is he's he's walking up to his best friend who gets quiet when he approaches uh, you know and he he he's not seeing him as much because every chance he gets he's hanging out with Nick and spending time with Nick so to hear when if he finds out on top of all of this that Charlie is keeping this from him He's really going to feel sad and left out. And I feel bad for Tao. I feel bad more so for Tao this round, the second round watching, than I did the first time. The first time, I feel like I was a little more defensive of Charlie. Like, I feel like I was like, Tao's being a, a little overreacting, a little dramatic, kind of like all the things that Elle was saying. Like, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why, because I, I as I said, Elle is my favorite. I always love Elle. I think that she's the most straight-headed and honest and, and more thoughtful thoughtful than everybody else and 
she would always be like, you know, you are being dramatic. You're overreacting. This is ridiculous. That's not going to happen. This and that. But, you know, like, let Charlie live his life. Now I feel like through, again, a second watch through, I understand Ta why Tao is a little more protective and, and why Tao is a little more afraid than I did the first time around. Um... I also feel like Elle being someone who took a leap and did what she felt was best for her in, you know, going to the girls' school and changing everything around her and her whole life, like her changing, going somewhere she didn't know anybody, where she had no friends. Like she took this dive because she felt like it was going to be better for her and safer for her and and more appropriate for who she is that's some hi that's something that i feel like tau doesn't necessarily understand like what 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 l had to go through and how she i'm not saying he's inconsiderate of her feelings he's clearly considerate he's very protective over his friends he loves his friends but to experience, to see, to watch it happen to one of your friends is one thing. To experience it is another. So I feel like Elle has experiences that she can see in Charlie, and that's why she's like, let him do his thing. You know, like, like I, I get that you're upset. I get that you're protective. I get that you're worried. But you gotta let him do his thing. Let him work through it, and he'll find his way. And and Tao's just like mama bear. Like no keep them close and protect them overall fantastic episode i also love the part with nick's mom where she's like it was because of elizabeth swan and in in correlation to that scene we have these of these moments of him googling like am i bisexual watching this video of what it means and uh these little subtle hints and things that they keep dropping throughout with the mom is is really interesting to watch but overall fantastic episode we have two weeks left. We have two episodes, two weeks left, and then we're into season two. Until the next reaction, so long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when they might need it next. Bye.